Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving into the 10 star Kazuna against Bardo and Cavendish with some individual teams to help you guys take down level 30 plus if you guys come around to those assists. Now, I do know trouble, finding troubles has been a problem for most people. I did release a one team versus all. Uh, it should work up to level 30. I couldn't be bothered doing audio over the top of it, so I do apologize for the silent video. Um, but I thought I'd get that out to you guys like while I was sort of traveling around, moving from hotel to hotel. Um, but I did want to put this team to like this video together because if you singly make your teams, this content is really not that challenging. Um, trying to make a one team versus all, definitely the case. But this particular Kazuna after level 30 has a bunch of gimmicks we don't normally see. Stuff like um, ship buying, stuff like only allowing you to use two specials and uh, death damage. All, all that, that very annoying end game -y content -y kind of stuff. So um, doing a one team versus all can be a little bit of a problem. But for the first team, we are versing the Psy variation. Um, so we are running a mono int team led by Uta and uh, Yamato. So Uta and Yamato combination removes paralysis, special reverse, and bind. Uh, so that works super nicely for stage two. We don't have to worry about it on stage three. We don't have to worry about the paralysis. Uh, and then Uta also gives us an attack buff and an orb buff. We have Kid on the team just literally for the killer support. You can run any kid that you possibly want because after level 30, you're only going to be allowed to use two specials on this final stage unless you have Brook let Limit Break expanded. If you Limit Break expand your Brook, you can then use more than two specials and that way you can actually just use like Kid on the final stage. But if you guys don't have Brook level Limit Break, like sorry, Limit Break expanded, like don't stress, like you can still run this team um you just won't be able to use the kid special on the final stage At the end of the day you're still getting color affinity with yeah uh with black maria you have a chain boost you have um you basically have pretty much everything you need for this team to function very very nicely even without that brook shenanigans on to the next team we are versing in variation and we are running nami with snake man um the nami snake man combination works incredibly well mainly because you can just fill the train with a bunch of straw hats and this team's actually pretty free to play friendly we are using three free to play characters and a rare recruit that came out yonks ago so hopefully you guys will be able to build out this team especially if you have nami maxed um, it does a lot of damage, but you also have the super tenor of Garp too, because Garp and Luffy are on the same team, and that, and that works out pretty nicely there. I think I'm using the Brook support for level 30 plus on uh, Nami, but I'm pretty sure because we have a Luffy on the team, you can use Garp to like captain swap in, use the super type of Garp, and then that way you can remove more defense up. But if you use like the carrot support on Nami, that's another option too. Um, you can put Brook support on Sanji. Basically, anyone that can remove an extra two turns of defense up will work very nicely here. As you guys saw there, we took out stage two very, very easily. Thank you to Zoro, removing the threshold. I also used the Luffy special because Zoro gives back Luffy's cooldown, so like, why not? Just an easy stage two kill. On the final stage, you get special blinded. We get an 80% HP cut. Chopper takes care of that. We get a full board in orbs, which um, someone on the team makes matching, so that works super nicely for us. And then basically from here, we have an attack boost with Luffy, an orb boost with Luffy, a chain boundary with Sanji, chain boost and base stats with Nami, a conditional boost with Nami, and then we also have color affinity thanks to Garp, as well as removal of the defense up once we hit level 30 plus. So uh, super nice stuff there. Nami removes the... Uh, was there paralysis? Actually, no, there wasn't any paralysis. Um, but yeah, this team, it just, it just works. Works very, very nicely. And uh, it does a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage, so shouldn't have any issues whatsoever here. Um, Chopper, Zoro, and Sanji all trigger Nami super tandem, so that way you can still hit with Luffy last. Luffy's a super type, you have a super class, and you're pretty much hunky door here. Do I even? Yeah, okay, cool. You have super tandem as well. Like, this team has everything, like, it actually has everything. So, goodbye, Bardo Cavendish. When they die, they do a 35,000 death damage, so just be careful of that. Uh, but Chopper gives you a full heal, so you should be absolutely fine. On to the final team now. We're versing the strength variation. We're using a combination of Shanks and friend captain Uta. Um, big up to using friend, uh, Shanks as your captain means you can use the free-to-play Uta on your team. Um, but you can replace her if you don't have her with anyone that can remove four turns of attack down. That'll work fine. Or you can replace uh, her with anyone that can remove four turns of um uh, despair either of the two will work uh because we have sengoku here sengoku can remove four turns of attack down and despair and then with the yasop support on um shanks that'll cover us for level 30 plus 
Um, we remove the attack down on stage two with the support of Morley and either using Sengoku or Utah, whichever you guys decide. Uh, but bringing that other free-to-play Utah also triggers the Super Tenem of Shanks, especially if you guys don't have uh, level limit break, well, sorry, Super Tenem level five Shanks. As long as you have two Utahs on the team, it will trigger as long as you have the second, uh, whatever the second level is for Shanks. Uh, we still need to bring Hack on this team. Hack removes the defense up as well as gives us two turns of cooldown because after level 30, when you get despaired, you don't have the Uta uh, immunity. So just be mindful of that. Uh, but up to level 30, it'll work absolutely fine. You don't have to worry about it. You get a full board of block ops on the final stage. Shanks takes care of that. You have uh, just a flex of a conditional with um, Robin. If you don't have Robin, don't stress. He's just more damage. And um, that she has that one support. So this team works absolutely amazing. Um, should work for a very, very long time. And if you guys are struggling with finding um, trouble friend captains and you basically just want to get assists done and you don't running Marco teams or Jack teams or whatever you guys are doing, hopefully these teams help you guys out. And they, they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. They'll, they'll, they'll keep you covered for a pretty long time. But like I said, I don't see many people getting past level uh, 30 for this particular casino. But if you enjoyed the video, build the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the big red subscribe button. Do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.